Hi, welcome to this TTK tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use TTK from your own code, and in particular, from your own Python code. So here, I will assume that you downloaded and decompressed the TTK source code and data tables to a directory called TTK. Here. Okay. And of course, I will assume that you successfully installed TTK and PowerView, and that you uh, installed PowerView with Python support. Okay. So, uh, the uh, Python support in TTK is provided thanks to PowerView. So, what I'm going to do is to show you a simple example of TTK usage within PowerView, and I will show you how to uh, convert this into a Python script. So, we'll look in PowerView now. Here, I've closed this. And if you uh, successfully installed, um, complied PowerView with Python support, you should have the following option that appears in the menu tools, start trace. And here you want to make sure uh, that this value is selected only user modified properties. And you click on OK. Now we'll open a data set here, uh, the Dragon one, apply. And here is uh, a surface mesh. So we'll do some processing and analysis on the surface mesh. So we will search here or we can search for the uh, elevation filter, like this, okay. and this will just create a uh, scalar field on top of the surface. So now we will apply some uh, TTK processing on it. We'll apply the uh, geometry smoother with, let's say, 20, uh, 20 iterations. Here, 20, apply, okay. And now we'll apply uh, some other uh, TTK processing, like for instance, uh, scalar field smoother. And we'll put 10 iterations here, let's say. Apply. Okay, now we'll save this to disk. Before this, we'll recommend to uh, call the filter clean to grid here. Apply. Okay. And now we'll go to file, save data. And uh, we'll save this under uh, here. We'll call this smooth trading here. Okay. Okay. So now we can go to uh, the tools menu and click on the stop trace button. And there we go. Automatically, part of you uh, translated everything we did in the user interface into a Python script. So we'll go ahead and save it here. Okay. And we'll call it TTK Python script like this. Okay. All right. We can close part of you now. And the script is here as well as Smooth Dragon. So first off, we'll make the script executable with this command. Okay. And now we'll open the script and modify it a bit. All right. So if you want to execute the script, so I'll zoom in. If you want to execute the script from the command line, you want to add this line at the beginning that just um, tells uh, what uh, Python interpreter to use. And here, pvpython is an interpreter that comes with PowerView and which uh, actually is just uh, a pure uh, Python interpreter, but with a part view layer. So everything you will write in the script uh, can be written in Python and will be understood by this interpreter. And here, for instance, we'll go uh, down the script and we'll see that all uh, the processing that we did in part view actually happens here in the script. So there are some uh, lines that are dedicated to rendering and display, and those you can uh, remove if you want, if you are just focused on the uh, processing. For instance, here, we'll uh, change the upper path, like this. And we'll actually change uh, the number of iterations. Let's say we put 100 here, and 5 here. Okay, and we save this to disk. And here, like I said, again, you can put whatever Python processing afterwards, or you can copy-paste uh, these uh, Python lines to your own Python script. Now we can close this. 
And here we can execute uh, our Python script. And here, um, TTK has been called through the Python script. And through list, we'll see that we have now a second smooth dragon. We can open it with part view. There we go. This guy is even smoother than the original. You can open here. All right. So now you know how to uh, generate easily some Python code using TTK and how to take it and uh, put it in your own Python code. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.